The former MI6 officer, George Blake, who became one of the Cold War's most infamous double agents, has died, according to Russian media reports. He was 98. As a Soviet spy, Blake handed over information that betrayed at least 40 British agents in Eastern Europe. Here's our Moscow correspondent, Steve Rosenberg. He had a Russian home, a Russian wife, even a Russian name, Georgi Ivanovich. But George Blake was a British intelligence officer who became one of the most notorious double agents of the Cold War. He spied for the Soviets for nearly a decade. Blake had spent three years in captivity in North Korea. By the time he returned to Britain in 1953, he was a committed communist. Posted to Berlin by MI6, he became a KGB mole. He would take the train to the Soviet sector, hand over data on Western intelligence operations and Western agents, and then drink champagne with his KGB handler. I don't know, but maybe 500, 600. Agents? Yes. You betrayed 500, 600 agents? Maybe. Blake convinced himself that what he was doing was morally right. I looked upon it like a sort of voluntary job. You know, like people... Oxfam. Uh, he was something like that, yes. He was eventually jailed in Britain for 42 years. He then was able to escape and was smuggled to East Germany and then spent the rest of his life in Moscow in a way sort of cocking a snook at the, uh, the, the Brits who'd um, succeeded in catching him but failed to keep him. In 2012, he told a Russian TV channel that he hadn't changed sides because of blackmail or torture. He'd offered his services voluntarily. In a message of condolence, President Putin described George Blake as courageous, an outstanding professional, adding that his memory would remain in Russian hearts forever. Russia gave him medals and much praise. But to Britain, he is the Cold War traitor who escaped justice. The former MI6 officer George Blake, who has died in Moscow at the age of 98.